Oh my god, I'm out of practice. I need to like. Hey guys, Tazzy Faye here, and I have not posted in about four months. That is absolutely unacceptable. It has been so long that even my Tazzy Faye corner has completely changed. Can you see it? Can you see it? Totally different, right? It's been so long that my hat collection has multiplied by square, squared itself. Prince Harry, he has been engaged himself to um, McCann, Marklis, Taylor Swiffer, she dropped another album called Reputation. It's all about her reputation, haven't listened to it yet. I'm a slow uh, adapter as that's what I'd look like if I had plastic surgery. The world has turned more than 121 times. This cannot happen again. God willing, this will not happen again. Where have I been? Well, let me explain myself this to you. I was selected as a fellow for the YouTube Creators for Change program. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna link some stuff up here, down below, whatever, whatever floats your boats. There were some articles that explain what it is and I also did a little radio interview with a local radio station here. So that was really, really cool. So you guys can check that out in the description below um, if you wanna know more about the program. But basically what had happened was we were selected, we were given a grant and we were supposed to make videos about social change. Because I was working on those projects and I felt like those were a priority, I didn't really have time to make regular Tazzy Faye videos and record and edit and do all that kind of stuff. So if you saw my latest video, it was a visual essay that I did. I kind of did some stop motion and that was through YouTube Creators for Change for YouTube Creators for Change. So you guys should go check that out if you haven't checked it out already. It's really great. I worked really hard on it. I really did. My eyelash just poked my eye. They're fake, by the way. I shouldn't tell people that. I'm just too open sometimes. I, I really, I, I realize that, but not in the right ways. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is what's coming next, because I feel like I have disappeared for a little bit. I have started recording normal content again because I'm almost done with my second project. Yeah, I had the opportunity to sit down with some really interesting people and hear their stories and how they ended up in Colorado. And so I am really excited to share that project with you guys. Um, it'll probably be done by the end of the month, so look out for that. I did want to share a little preview at the end of this video for you guys um, of the video so stay tuned for that if you're interested but other than that thank you guys so much for supporting it's been a great year as far as youtube goes even though i haven't been posting a lot um, i'm really happy that i was able to be with this program and i wouldn't have been able to do it if it weren't for you guys and for um you know certain people that i should probably thank <laughs> <coughs> I will. But yeah, look out for some new content. You know, got some Thugger's phase, you know, got some this, got some that. I don't know. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Links for social media are down below, as well as the stuff that I had mentioned. If you're interested in reading or listening to the radio interview, Tazzy Faye, out. Bamboozle, what? Uh, or do you consider Colorado home? Yes, absolutely. And what's your favorite thing about Colorado? It's just not one favorite thing. I love pretty much everything about Colorado. I'm sure it takes a toll on you. It is, yeah. it is. It's it's been moments where I, you know, I, there's there's burnout stages where I don't mm -hmm. I can't do work for a couple of months. Um and, and it's heavy, you know, it's just I, I cry a lot. Coming to America really helped me form my identity in a way of me just being excluded from everything. My idea was to not just tell the Latino story. Mm -hmm but to also tell the story of those who had settled there years and years ago. They always think I'm from Russia. Okay. Is that close to Bosnia? I'm like, oh, yeah, like... really. Uh, excuse <laughs> oh. me. Yeah, <laughs> they, uh, maybe I look like a Russian girl, but I, there is no yeah. such thing as a close to Russia yeah. and yeah. Bosnia.